Our next guest is a host, actress, beauty influencer, and now a proud entrepreneur. Please welcome my girl, Julissa Bermudez. Julie! Oh my God! Hi, let me run it down. Besties reunite! Yeah. 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 Have yeah. a moment, yes, for this dress. Oh, thank Julie, you, you look gorgeous. So cool. I, you, my favorite color is green, and I need to thank have that. You. That's so cute. You know, it's Republica so green vibe. Yes, yes. You guys Smart. get it. Okay, yes. so we're gonna get all into Republica and all the other things that you have going on. Yes. But first, having a lot of things going on can be super stressful. How do you manage those stressful moments? How do you manage stress? I go outside. <laughs> now that we can go outside, I'm out. Yes. Um, I love hiking. I love being outdoors and taking a moment with mother nature, I think. Yeah. I know that sounds all zen and foo foo foo, but I really do appreciate just enjoying nature. And there's nothing that takes your mind off of all your stress than just a good wusa in natural air. Yes. I mean, you, that's very evident on your gram. Every mm -hmm. time, I love <laughs> <laughs> loving the pictures on your gram. You're always outside in some exotic location and you make the most of that so I can see that. Well, anyway. the thing is I broke my left knee almost two years ago. Which is yeah. crazy. Uh, and I didn't think I would ever be able to hike again or yeah. let alone do outdoor activities. So I really appreciate it even more so now. Yeah when I have yeah. to Your go Your hiking moments were epic during COVID, for sure. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, during COVID, I did all the things outside because obviously everything was closed. And yeah. It's actually how I met my mentor. Yeah. It was yeah. wild. Besides being adventure-seeking, you're a host, you're an actress, mm -hmm. and now you're an entrepreneur, which ah, is so made yes. for you. I love saying this for you. You said that you found difficulty in like the ownership title. Yeah. Why? I've always had to show up physically mm -hmm. for a check, basically, yeah. to earn my living. Yeah. So entrepreneurship, for me, it was um, because I was creating a product, it's something that um, is on its own. So I'm here talking with you guys, hanging out yeah. with everyone, and it's doing its own thing. So for me, the, the label yeah. of entrepreneur was like, I just thought it was conglomerates and big corporate people and big bosses that have, you know, reserved parking spots and <laughs> things like that. Yeah, it's wild that, when you say it that yeah. way, but then when you're a small business owner, it's so hands-on. Mm -hmm. What would you say was the inspiration for your skincare line, Republica? Well, I really wanted Republica and Republica Skin to be a heritage brand. And honestly, you know, years of just being in front of the camera and having to figure out how to make yourself camera ready. Yeah. And growing up in New York, but being born in Dominican Republic, I saw the difference in my skin. Yeah. In Dominican Republic, you're glowy, you're dewy, yes. you're hydrated. In New York, you're dry, ashy, flaky most of the time. <laughs> Time because of the weather. Yeah. So oh, I was really trying to mimic how can I get my skin like that all yeah. year round? Yeah. And I became obsessed with body products. Yeah. And I believe that body care is skin care. Yeah. So the same way you do different steps for your face and for um, for whatever correcting that you want to do to improve your skin on your face, I'm like, well, you could be doing the same for your body. So that's how my debut right. product, which is a sugar body polish. Yeah. And in Dominican Republic, we have a big amount of uh, one of our natural resources is sugar. Yeah. So oh, that's yeah. why it's a sugar body polish, vegan, cruelty free. Oh, I see. It. She is that girl that literally, if you want to know any product, like Julie's the go-to. Like yes. I feel like if I want to invest in I something. I love your makeup tutorials. Always. Thank you. So always. Good. She is the beauty guru. So I believe this it. product just made sense. Which and is I know wild because I grew up with three older brothers and I was such a tomboy. Yeah. Yeah. No one would have ever guessed I'd be in this seat talking about beauty. Of course. Beauty. So it. I heard that this product was in production for two and a half years. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And during COVID at this time that everything that could go wrong went wrong. Absolutely. So break it down, what happened? Uh, yeah, I was referring to entrepreneurship, basically <laughs> like Murphy's Law. Every single thing that could go left absolutely went left. I mean, I have an entire episode on it on uh, my YouTube and my new show. As I'm on my way to go pick up my product boxes that took forever, the van that I rented broke down. Oh so now I'm gosh. on the side of the road. And then another thing, you were there <laughs> when I finally did get the boxes. Yeah. Um, it was it was crazy. They completely misspelled the name of my brand on 10,000 boxes after I've already paid. Oh my god, Julie. Insane. But yeah. guys, 
let, let's just have a moment. Yeah. The three of us are business owners. Like yeah. if you think about yes. that as women of color, right. to be able to say that we invested in ourselves, you do yes. it. And although you go through all these hard moments, ultimately you get to inspire people that look like us, that, yes. that yes. grew up like us. And you can say, you can do it too. But let me tell you, it is hard yes. work and it is yes. trial and error. You learn as you go along. And I think nowadays, especially with social media, we always post, you know, the, the, the finishing, highlights. yeah, the finishing, the finished products, yeah. you know, when things are glossy and they look beautiful and you're like, here, here's my yeah. thing. But a lot of the times you don't post leading up to what yes. got you there. Yeah, absolutely. And, and then you laugh about it now. But you're in the still, moment. Yeah, the moment. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. You know, I never cry. And the waterworks in this process, oh my goodness, oh, nonstop. Yeah. I understand. I really do. Another yeah. thing that I get super emotional about is um, representation. And yes. I know that we've been in this game for a long time, representing Latinos on TV, like, mm -hmm. yes, wepa. How do you think it's come along so far after being in this industry <laughs> for such a long time? How do you think the representation is going for Latinos, um, Julie? Uh, well, being the representative. No, uh, I think we're making progress for sure. We're definitely um, now, I guess, in subcategories, which before I feel like we would just be grouped in, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah. Now people can recognize what an Afro-Latina is. So important. Or if you say, oh, I'm actually from Dominican Republic, and people can identify, oh, that's in the Caribbean, not necessarily just South America yeah. or Central America. And I think um, people are starting to identify the fact that we look different, we sound different yes. from different regions, and um, so important. culturally very diverse within our own culture. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So, speaking of seeing it, we gotta talk about It's Me, Julissa, your yes. new show on YouTube. So crazy, I know that is a lot of work. Pouring your Ooh. heart out, being so transparent, how does that feel for you? Uh, it's, it was a lot, uh, I really didn't think that I would be okay with that, but to you guys' point, you know, Adrian, you've done it, you've been doing yeah. it, and yeah. uh, you, it's just a different platform for you to be vulnerable, and yeah. really, we're at an age, or at least I am, where I think, at this point, everyone can relate to certain things and you don't want people to feel as if they're the only ones going through stuff, especially because mental health is a topic now that also gets really openly spoken about. Yeah. I think um, just showing the highs, the lows, the in-betweens, and all of that, especially being a woman in this business and at a Super certain important. age. Yeah, I love it. Well, we've got a clip, so let's take a look at you in It's Me, Julissa. I really wanted this brand to be sustainable, the same way I want. I wanted the um, ingredients to be vegan, cruelty-free, and it just, it was a really big letdown. I, I spent so much time, and like, how did I miss that? At the end of the day, when you are the founder, or the CEO, or the person behind the brand, you can have 20,000 Liz Maris working for you. You can have 20,000 people working for you, and a mistake like that can happen. Ooh, I thought so real. All right, Julie, you know that we love to get down and dirty with some girl chat, and you got a really, really feisty opinion, too. You ready to play with us? <laughs> yes, oh. we want you to weigh in. Okay, earlier in today's show, we were talking about all the imposter syndrome feelings that happen, feelings of self-doubt. So I want to hear from you now that you yourself are an entrepreneur. What are your feelings? Have you ever experienced imposter syndrome? Yeah. And where do you think those feelings come from? Don't think that just because you see people on TV that they have their lives all together. Mm -hmm. right. And sometimes that comes in the form of imposter syndrome. I think I told you this story once mm -hmm. where I felt so crazy because I got recognized at the 99 cent store and I'm supposed to be, yeah, I go to the 99 cent store. Yeah. But I'm supposed to be, you know, Julissa with Who's whatever at amount of Saks followers. Fifth Avenue or something. Yeah. Right. And, you know, on TV. And no, I still go and I like a discount. Yeah. So Lucky. I got recognized there and I was trying my hardest to, I felt like I was rude to the person. I was trying to kind of avoid saying hi. It was uh. because it was a real moment for me where I thought I can't be seen here. I'm supposed to be this uh, person that's that- so whack. Yeah. yeah, it's so whack. So I have definitely felt imposter syndrome before. I mean, entrepreneurship is something I didn't think that I should take full ownership in because yeah. I felt, well, I don't you know, own a multi-million dollar business yet. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes you just have to say, no, 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 but you're still, you're doing amazing, sweetie. You know? Yes, you're doing yeah. amazing, yeah. sweetie. Yeah, <laughs> I think that it is so true. So many people think that 
you have to have a certain status or you have to carry yourself a certain way yeah. to be successful in general. And it doesn't, have, I love it because we always used to say fake the funk and you were like, absolutely no. not. Yeah. Facing, yeah, I always say instead of fake it till you make it, face it till you make it. But the reason why I got that is my mom. Mama Mai is, my mom is very, she owns everything she does, even if it's the things Absolutely. that you may, you may shame. Like I told like, her to do with her thing. She went to Jeezy's <laughs> concert the other week and, and you know how they set out like, lobster tails and all these things because it's Jeezy, so they like want to host him. I thought you him. said Jesus, and I was like, where was Jesus? <laughs> where was Jesus? <laughs> and these lobster tails. <laughs> what? Jesus and his lobster tails. Well, let me tell you, this feast was kind of like that, right? Okay. Where it was like made for Jesus, but it was for Jeezy. And he's not eating all <laughs> that at a supper. show. Yeah. So my mom saw and she's like, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm taking it home. Absolutely. You, you don't eat, you don't eat. We yeah. don't waste food. We're not wasting food. We're and not that's what I love, food. like own it. Put it out there so that if you're like, I love shopping at the 99 cent store. So when you get found there, it's not a weird thing because you already put that on blast. You I'll know? never forget. I went on a date, like my first industry boyfriend okay. took when I went on a date with him. And we went somewhere so nice. And same thing. It was lobster tails. I yeah. mean, he was whining yeah. and dining me. And I was like, wait, I need this to go. He's like, oh, you eat leftovers? And I was like, I sure do. You sure do. Absolutely do. You got a problem with it? I love okay. that. That's what I'm talking about. I Julie, love that. it is so much fun hanging Always. out with you. Congratulations on, on the, love being Congratulations here. on the YouTube show, everything. Thank you. For more info about Julie, Lisa's YouTube show. It's me, Julissa, and her skincare line, Republica. Just head on over to thereal.com.